Welcome to Pictures in Time from the Department of History at Lancaster University, where we share historical photographs, paintings, and objects that help us to see the other side of history. I'm Ellery Cousins. I'm a Roman historian and archaeologist at Lancaster, and I'd like to share with you an object that epitomizes the cultural complexity of Roman Britain, the so-called Staffordshire Moorlands pan. This small bronze pan was found near Islam in Staffordshire. It was made in Roman Britain and probably dates to the second century AD. The first thing that catches the eye is the swirling or nate passioning on its sides. This decoration is made up of colored enamel and reflects local British artistic traditions rather than Roman ones from the Mediterranean. Inlaid enamel decorations like these were common in Britain in both the late Iron Age and throughout the Roman period and they required a high level of technical and artistic skill. Likewise, the complex abstract design with its wave-like interlocking shapes is typical of Iron Age and Romano-British art. It's a style that you may associate with the word Celtic, although archeologists tend to consider that term anachronistic for the art of Roman Britain. The enamel decoration is not the only interesting thing about this pan. Its other key aspect is the inscription that runs around its rim. This inscription records the Latin names of several forts in the western half of Hadrian's Wall, specifically the Roman forts at Bonus on Sands, Drumbra, Castlesteads, and Stanix. This inscription makes this pan a member of a small and exclusive club of bronze vessels that have been found decorated with the names of Hadrian's Wall Fort. So far, though, it is the only one that has this sort of swirling decoration. The other pans have instead a stylized depiction of what appears to be Hadrian's wall itself. A few more pans have also been found that lack the inscription of fort names, but which have the same stylized representation of the wall. It's thought that all of these pans were made by artisans local to the Hadrian's wall region, perhaps at a workshop based at Roman Carlisle. What was the purpose of these pans that commemorated Hadrian's Wall? Their shape recalls the standard mess tin of the Roman soldier. One interpretation then is that they were simply souvenirs, purchased and carried by soldiers as mementos of their time serving on the frontier. But some may have had a deeper significance. This same shape of pan was also often used in religious ceremonies, to give wine and other liquids to the gods. And several of these pans depicting Hadrian's wall have in fact been found in religious contexts. One, for example, was given to the goddess Sulis Minerva at her famous water sanctuary at Bath. The Staffordshire Moorlands pan itself was found in what may have been a ritual deposit, carefully buried in a spot overlooking the river manifold. If some of these pans had a ritual function, what might that have been? One possibility is that these objects may have been used by soldiers in religious rituals which honoured their service in the Roman army. Perhaps some were even used in ceremonies of closure, with soldiers or their descendants commemorating their military career by giving a representation of their place of service to the gods. The range of possible functions for these pans gives us insight into the dynamics of military life in Roman Britain and to the experiences of soldiers serving on the edge of the Roman world. Meanwhile, the mixing of Roman and British artistic styles on the Staffordshire Moorland pan in particular opens a window onto the vibrant hybrid nature of culture, society and art in the Roman Empire. The Staffordshire Moorlands pan was found in 2003 by metal detectorists, who promptly reported their find to the Portable Antiquities Scheme. This allowed the find spot to be investigated by archaeologists and meant that the pan could be properly studied and published. For more information about how the Portable Antiquities Scheme fosters links between researchers and the general public, and what to do if you find an artifact yourself, you can visit finds.org.uk.